Building with Papa. Okay, I'm taking a standard door with a panel in it. This is a shaker door and the customer wants glass. So I'm gonna show you how to remove this panel so it can receive glass. It's not really difficult, but it takes a little time. Okay, so as you can see, I already did it to this one door and I'm gonna show you how. I know the reveal or where the panel is, is about a half inch in from the edge. So I mark a half inch and then I use my Bora guide and I'm, I cut it with my battery saw because it has a very thin blade and I just set the depth that I know is going to go um, down to where the panel goes into the frame. So I measure over a half an inch and then I bring it back an inch and a sixteenth because that's what the offset is from my guide on my saw. And I run my guide alongside the Bora and just cut it. So this is my first one. I started doing better as I went on where I was able to get the saw blades to to meet all the way in, but it's not a problem if you don't. You just use a nice sharp chisel and uh, cut through. Once you're able to cut through on all four corners, then you'll be able to pull the strip out. This one came out nice and easy. Not every one of them did. Okay, now once you have that excess piece out, you take your chisel and you clean it up because it's gonna be difficult to get the panel out with the extra wood sitting in there. You can see where I cut with my saw blade. It worked out really nice. The half inch was very good. If you go a little bit past, it's not gonna hurt. If you go short, it's gonna make it a lot tougher. So make sure you know what, the, what it is and you're only gonna do it by trial and error. You're gonna to have to start one door and see what it is, but half inch is a good measurement. All right, now we're popping out this panel. It comes out pretty easily. It's not bad. Again, this was one of the easy ones. Once I got all the measurements correctly, they were easier and easier as it went along. But you can see now uh, that the frame is set up there. It's ready for, uh, almost ready for glass. I like to stain the inside. Uh, I use an espresso stain, and now I'm able to take my measurements. I put a piece of tape on the edge of the door so that I can um, know which door goes to which cabinet. My 30-inch cabinet, and then the measurements on the side are what the glass is. So once I cut all these, I get the glass cut from the glass company, and then I start to put them in. You could see I stained the inside of the frame and you need to take a nice clear silicone and put a thin bead all the way around on, that, uh, on the wood first. Then plop your glass in and then run a heavy bead all the way around on the outside. It was a lot of work, but it was worth it. it this kitchen's coming out nice. They wanted to have these glass doors, uh, these cabinets put up above their existing cabinets and they wanted the frosted glass. It was a great choice. I think this really looks good. And now, if you want glass in your cabinets, you know how to do it. All right, building with Papa. Like, subscribe, and ring that bell. If you can, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you on the next one. I think this one turned out really great. Man, it's made me really proud. I actually made a couple of these cabinets customized, and I'll show that in another video.